Welcome everyone to a brand new Pokemon Go episode. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to daily Pokemon Go videos because today we're going to be going on a hunt for rare Pokemon and learning a little bit more about things called Nets and how they can help you guys find rare Pokemon really consistently. Last episode, we actually went to one of these nests and ended up getting a Charmander. I had to go onto a golf course, and funnily enough, we're actually going to a golf course again today. There's gonna be amazing places for these Pokemon Go nests. So, if you missed that episode, it'll be down below in the description. But for today, we're gonna start it off here in the Pokemon Go headquarters, talk a little bit more about nests, how you can find them, how you can share them with your friends, and set off on today's adventure to find rare Pokemon. So guys, welcome back to the headquarters. To start off another episode, so we've got giant Pikachu joining us to start off with here and I just want to show you guys because of last episode Bulbasaur, Charmander and Squirtle. It's taken me a while to get all three of them but we are finally there and on top of that this is the starting Squirtle I caught when I first started Pokemon Go and I'm never going to get rid of him. I'm going to keep him forever. Potentially if we get so far into the game I've got so many candies I'm going to evolve him into the biggest and bestest Blastoise but at the moment I'm keeping hold of him. I'm not getting rid of him. He's a part of a family. Now today I said I was going to be talking about Pokemon nests, exactly what they are, how you can locate them, and how you can share them with your friends as well. So we've actually come across a few nests, sometimes by accident in these videos. So when we went for our very first hunt for Electrobuzzes, when I actually caught one on top of my car, if you guys remember, that area is an Electrobuzz nest. We've been there several times and there's always Electrobuzz spawning all around consistently. So normally Electrobuzz would be a rare Pokemon, but in nests, it's an area they consistently spawn in over and over and over. For whatever reason, golf courses seem to be really good places for nests. And if you watch yesterday's video, we went to a golf course, you understand. We caught loads of Charmander. We got three Charmanders, and there were loads of Charmanders spawning there all of the time. And that was also a Charmander nest. Now, another nest I've also come across in my videos is when I went back and visited my parents and my brother. We also went to a golf course, and there were quite a few Dratinis there. Now, some nests are more effective than others. Some have four, five, six of those Pokemon constantly spawning. Well, some have a few that rotate in every now and then so aren't quite as good nests now If you want to know where these nests are of course the best place is to share them around So a few days ago I showed you guys a CP calculator on the website We've developed called PokeFind which allows you to submit all the Pokemon you found and help you share nests And just other Pokemon you've come across in specific areas so everyone can find them as well So if you head over to PokeFind, I'll link it down below in the description We've got two forms of the way that this website will work. So we've got the evolution calculator which you've already used before in a video. It's super useful. If you're ever evolving a Pokemon, make sure you're using this to predict its CP to know whether or not you've got a good or bad evolution. There's also the live map where you can go anywhere in the world, zoom in. I obviously don't live in Madrid, but if you did, you can then just whittle it down to just Pokemon, Pokestops or Gym, press scan, and it will show you all the live Pokemon that are available right that second in the nearby area. So what we've got, we've got a Growlithe going on here, which is awesome. We've got a Sandshrew True going on here. So really awesome live map. However, if you want to be really specific and share what you've found of other people, if you go to the Pokemon segment, you get a full list of the whole um, Pokedex We can actually specifically choose the Pokemon you want to look for. So for example, if you were looking for Bulbasaur, you want to know where just Bulbasaur was, you can literally travel the world on this map and find where people have found Bulbasaur so you can go there yourself and try and find them. Now, obviously the live map is really useful for finding Pokemon right there, right then, and will give you lots of information straight away. But the way all this data is collected for these kind of searches, is used through the actual app's API system. So basically, they're using the coding and information from the app to get all this live information. Now, I think in the near future, all that information will be blocked off so people can't access it. So we're going to have to rely on people like you guys and myself submitting information to websites like PokeFind so we can work together as a community and find Pokemon through your own input. So I'd highly suggest that if you're looking for a specific Pokemon or come across a specific Pokemon, you spend a few seconds entering it into Pokemon you find and also using it as a, your own way to find Pokemon too to help out the community and when we don't have access to those live features anymore we can still come here still find Pokemon and it's just a great place for Pokemon Go players. So hopefully PokeFind will help you guys find some really rare Pokemon. It's a great website and we're gonna be using that today for a tip off to find a rare Pokemon for ourselves that we have not found yet in one of these nests that I found through PokeFind. So 
We're going to start off today, find some rare Pokemon. If you guys are excited, give it a thumbs up. Let's start another Pokemon Go episode. So guys, as excited as I am today to find some new rare Pokemon that we've been tipped off on, I actually need to go to the dentist to start off, which kind of sucks. I actually went to the dentist here a few weeks ago. I'm basically getting a mold done for my teeth, and I'm going to be having like a retainer for 12 months. I had braces when I was younger, but it, my teeth have gone back to being terrible again, so it's been another 12 month process. But while we're in town, I'm literally on a Pokemon stop I'm gonna see if I know fingers crossed we can get an egg okay we didn't get an egg but the interesting thing is I've got a few more eggs that I haven't checked yet so oh no way we've got another 10k one let's go what an amazing start so we've got a 10k and two 5k eggs from Pokestop two more and we'll be back to nine out of nine but I need to go to a dentist and then hopefully you can find some rare Pokemon here before we even go off to our main stop for the day and find some awesome Pokemon all right guys the dentist appointment is over I'll be back in a few weeks I actually see like a 3d video of how my teeth will change through this process you guys probably don't care but if you see me wearing braces in my videos in the near future you'll know why so i'll keep you guys updated but you may recognize this area here is where we caught a haunter about a few weeks ago if you guys have been keeping up with every episode and time to hatch a brand new egg i'm pretty sure that guy's brace is terrible on his cars i'm pretty sure it's a 5k egg let's see what it's gonna be <gasps> okay an ekans an ekans every single pokemon i get that needs an evolution so 34 candies four five six ekans that's pretty sick now if you look behind me here, you can see there's two lures currently going down. So I think, although I do want to get on with finding this awesome Pokemon I keep on talking about, I'm going to chill here for a little bit. Also notice there's a Squirtle on my nearby list. I think it's in the direction I've come from. Honestly, don't think you'll be able to track it down, but maybe we'll get something awesome from these lures, and if anything, we'll replenish our egg count. Now as much as we all hate Drowsy, if you guys remember from the end of the last episode, I caught a ridiculous, ridiculous CP Drowsy. So actually, any Drowsy or Hypnos I can find right now, and there's a few in those lures behind me i'm gonna capture and we're gonna work our way up to those 50 candies needed to see how good his evolved form will be yo look what just came from my own personal incense a me out now i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna guess it because i haven't seen but i'm pretty sure that's not my strongest one so i'm gonna discard it and if we take a look at the one i've got already okay fml he was actually higher than the one i already had but if you have a look at this i only need one more candy to evolve this guy into a persian which i don't have a lot of people say persian looks a little bit like oliver so i think it's a cute comparison but i can't, I can't believe i screwed that up it doesn't matter i wouldn't have evolved it anyway i'll probably wait for like a five or six hundred meowth i'll probably wait for like a five or six hundred meowth and then we'll have a brand new pokemon all right guys our pre-finding of epic pokemon it has come to an end we're about to head home and we're going to collect claire and take her with us as well but while i was in town i literally caught a jigglypuff just on the way back which is perfect because it now gives me as you can see on screen here 50 jigglypuff candy so i can actually evolve one i want to do it but at the same time i know this isn't the strongest jigglypuff in the world so maybe we get back we'll evolve it with claire because she hasn't got a wiggly tough so it'll be a new evolution for both of us to see unfortunately the drowsy grind is still continuing but it's fine we'll get there eventually if you look on my journal my last pokey stop gave me seven items it actually gave me an egg as well i know it gave me an egg but it's not on there it definitely gave me an egg guys because if we go to my egg list now we can see i'm at nine out of nine and look at that, i've got three 10k eggs on the go what i've had a 10k egg in like weeks and i've got three at the moment insane a quick little egg tip as you can see i've got my 2k egg in that infinite usage incubator obviously 2k eggs are going to be run off really quickly so you're going to cycle 2k eggs the quickest out of all of them so if you don't want to spend a lot of money on incubators or just aren't spending a lot of money but you have a few incubators spare make sure your infinite incubator you're only using the 2k eggs and leave the five and the 10k eggs to the ones that will be whittled down and only have three usage but man i am hyped to open those 10k eggs baby let's head home let's pick up plan let's go hunting for some epic Pokemon. So guys, I pulled in for a little bit of petrol and an egg's about to hatch. So what's it gonna be? I have no idea if it's a two, five, ten. I don't care. Just give me something I need. You know the drill eggs. Oh, okay, okay. Second Ekans for today. You know what I'm thinking about this right now because 55. No way. So many candies. All right, you know what? When we get home, I think we're maybe doing an Ekans and a Jigglypuff evolution. That's awesome. So guys, we are back home, but things have changed a little bit. If you look outside, it's now pitch black. I came back from the dentist, started editing a video. Next thing I know, it's pitch black. So it's going to turn into a rare Pokemon night time adventure all rolled into one. I've now decided I'm going to do both of these new evolutions. So evolve an Ekans into an Arbok, a Jigglypuff into a Wigglytuff, and get two new Pokemon added to our Pokedex. So you can see that Ekans is ready to evolve. Fun fact, if you spell Ekans backwards, it's Snake, and if you spell Arbok backwards, it is Cobra. So a little Easter egg there. Some of you guys may know that. There's lots of hidden Easter eggs with some of the names within Pokemon. So I'm going to go for the evolution and get ourselves our Arbok 
for the very first time. Now, the CP calculator over on PokeFind said we get about 1,000 or 1,100 evolutions. So let's see if that's going to be the case. Maybe a brand new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. Look at it. It is mean. You don't mess with this guy. One of Team Rocket's favorite Pokemon. What's it going to come out? 1,084. So the CP calculator was pretty damn accurate. I knew these guys wouldn't come out super strong as in they wouldn't fit into like our top tier squad. But really, I didn't mind. I just want to get the new Pokemon added and thrown into our Pokedex for the first time. And of course, get loads of XP for these new evolutions. I've got Lucky Egg rocking as well. Wigglytuff looking mean. Look at this, baby. Let me know if you've got an Arbuck or Wigglytuff added to your Pokedex already. You may already have them. These may not be new evolutions for you guys. What we're going to get here, 1,208. Yo, that is a really good evolution. If we do it by CP power, then Wigglytuff actually falls into our top page category Pokemon. So actually, seriously good. Now remember guys, we've got three 10k eggs on the go, a load of two and five. 5k eggs as well. Unfortunately, because it's so late now, Claire can't join us. We've got a really busy weekend ahead of us and I need to record a video, so that's why I'm still heading out late to find these rare Pokemon. When we get in the car, I'll tell you what the Pokemon is, right guys? Then we'll head to the location and fingers crossed, this nest will be awesome. So guys, are you ready for our rare Pokemon nighttime adventure? I'm actually using the torch that I used in our scary nighttime Pokemon hunt. And honestly, if you find any good Ghastlies on this adventure, I'll be really happy. But I promise you guys, I'll tell you which Pokemon we're going after. So it's actually a magma nest spawner. You guys know how much I want a magma. Funnily enough, now I've got three 10k eggs. I feel like we're going to go here, capture a magma, and then I'm going to hatch one and be really annoyed. But hey, we're going to head on over. And honestly, on the way or on the way back, I could get some more tip-offs through Pokefind of more Pokemon in the area submitted by you guys and found on the map. So let's head off. Hopefully there's something good there. And it's actually really late at night. I'm going to a golf course at like 1am. So I don't even know if I can get in. We'll, we'll find a way in. Don't worry. Even if I have to park up outside, and head on in. We'll be fine. So, let's shoot off and find these rare Pokemon. Guys, I couldn't help myself. I've driven past the four Pokestop God Point and I've literally parked up at, what, 1am in the morning. So if a police car goes by and sees me parked here in an R8 just sitting on my phone, they're probably thinking, what is that guy doing? But I've got, I've got a few decent captures, a few Psyducks and a few Magic Carps that grind towards that Gyarados. But the big one I've just got, if we go to recent, is actually a Meow. And that's put me now over 50 candy. So we can do another new evolution. So why not do it now? One second, boys. A Poliwag spawned him. Still need that Poliwrath, remember? Easy gains. Another Poliwag added to the collection. 58 candies going on there. All good. Now, the question question is, my friends, what is the best Meowth I currently have? Hmm, it's only a 340 Meowth. That, that really is not a great Meowth. But since, since I'm feeling like I'm liking you guys a lot right now, and it was probably never going to be a part of my squad anyway, let's evolve this Meowth into a Persian and just add a new Pokemon to the Pokedex. I've got a Lucky Egg Rocking, obviously, got uh, Incense and Lure, all of that good stuff here. Look at that. We like to call it Oliver. It's a little Ollie Polly in Pokemon form. I reckon just maybe seven, 800 CP. Honestly, don't think it's going to be that great. It may, that may even be too high of a prediction. Seven, yeah, seven, 800. We literally got that right. So let's nickname this dude. His original form, Ollie Polly, because he just looks cute and cuddly, exactly like Ollie himself. And it's a new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. I'm sure we'll get a better one at some point later on. Do not worry. Um, as you can see here, there's not too much going on. So you know what? I'm going I'm to pull myself away. So I'm going to pull myself away from all of these lures and head to the rare Pokemon spot. All right, guys, I've pulled up into this golf car park at 1 a.m. in the morning. My freaking battery in my camera is running low. I didn't pick up a new camera pack like an idiot before I left for this journey because it's so late at night. But look at this. A three. Jeez. Three freaking magmas are right here, hopefully, in the car park. So let's go for a wander and try and find this rare Pokemon. Ladies and gentlemen, Look who I'm chilling next to. It's a freaking magma, boys. Now, what is the CP going to be? That is the question. 508. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. This is our first ever magma capture, remember? I've gone for the kneeling capture approach just because I definitely want to get this guy, even though there's loads nearby. Now, I think, like an absolute idiot, just as I arrived, my lucky egg ran out. My lucky eggs and incenses aren't in sync, but here we go, baby. There we go, our first rare magma. Literally, 
as soon as we walk into these nests, can you see how good nests are now? Like, nests are just so good for these rare Pokemon. Share them on Pokemon Find. Go and tell your friends about them if you ever find one. But that magma, as you can see, really was quite underranked. Ooh, got a medal as well, nice. But I think we can find a better magma than that, potentially. I'm gonna have to walk around this car park and maybe even go on the golf course a little bit. I wanna find an even better one. Our second magma find, 391. Really, really magma? Where's the 1000 CP magma? You know what I mean? We've got 1200 Electro Buzz. We need to get a 1000 at least magma. Now, this is what I'm talking about, baby. I swear to God, almost in the exact same spot the last one spawned, a 1000. 303 magma has just popped up. This is the kind of CP for rare Pokemon I was looking for. So, this is gonna be a tough capture for sure. I'm gonna go for a spin Ultra Ball. I've raspberry him up. Ooh, too much spin, too much spin. That's looking good, that's looking good. A spin, great. Ultra Ball with a raspberry, you can't ask for much more than that, apart from an excellent. Yo, look at that, that is what I'm talking about. That is what we came here to do, baby. An unreal magma catch out in the wild. If we take a look as well at our now CP list for all of our Pokemon, that dude comes in at the number fifth spot. Look at him, he is absolutely menacing. I told you guys, for me, Magma and Electrobuzz were such awesome, awesome Pokemon from Gen 1, and having both of them now in our squad is amazing. Guys, I can't help myself. There's a gym here, obviously, because it's a golf course, and it's a level 8 gym, an unreal gym. I honestly think I can take it down. It's going to take quite a while to battle it over and over and over. So I'm just going to chill for a little bit. It's 1am. There's actually no one around. Someone doesn't come out and jump me suddenly. I should be okay. So I'm going to put a lucky egg on and try and get this gym all the way down from this level, which, as you can see here, is an unreal gym. So I'm going to try, try, and take it all the way down and take it for team blue guys i believe this is the last or the second last i think pokemon in this level eight gym so let's see jolteon is down one more perhaps i think okay this is definitely the final pokemon a vaporeon my friends if i take down this vaporeon i would have defeated a level eight gym now obviously to get down to neutral i've got to defeat the level seven level six level five level four level three level two level one so all of them all the way down to neutral and a van did actually pull into this um, golf course at 1am, which was kind of freaky, but I think, and I hope they're just delivering stuff. I just stayed well out their way, but I was going to take down this gym. This would be honestly the biggest gym fight ever. So not only will you guys have come along with me to find that awesome rare magma, will you also potentially, if this battle goes my way, have come with me to take on my toughest gym fight yet, I think. Okay, now we still got a few Pokemon, I know that for sure. I still got a Jolteon and this Vaporeon. My Vaporeon is just a little bit worse, but we're still gonna be able to take it down. And this looks like, my friends, a level eight gym defeated for us. Look at that, plus 1,700 XP. Look at how many stars I just knocked it down by. Jeebus, man. All right, I'm not gonna show you the rest of the battles until this thing neutral. I'm going to be here for a while, but it's going to be worth it. Can we all just appreciate for a second how awesome the R8 looks in the middle of the night, all alone in this car park? So unfortunately, guys, my vlogging camera did die on me, but luckily, I managed to defeat the gym. I say I spent a good 30 to 40 minutes here, grinding away at the gym, trying to take it down, all the way from 8 all the way to neutral. And Vaporeon is such a strong Pokemon. I think I may do a top 10 strong Pokemon in Pokemon Go because their strength and power, you often don't really know who's that good in Pokemon Pokemon Go, Vaporeon is a very much a surprise Pokemon as to how strong it is. It is such a powerful Pokemon, but I caught a Magma just before going into the gym. It was only 149, but it's another Magma to add to the list. It was my Vaporeon versus the gym's final Vaporeon, and it literally came down to the wire. Oh my gosh, I think it had a different moveset to me. I had the Water Gun and Water Pulse moveset, and I think the other Vaporeon had the Hydro Pump moveset, and literally with one HP left, I swear, I took down that very poorly on and claim the gym as mine baby so I thought, you know what? As tribute to Vaporeon, absolutely smashing it and helping me out so much. I've left Vaporeon in the gym here. He'll probably be gone tomorrow, but at least he can stand tribute for tonight and be recognized as to how well he's done. So I think today's vlog may turn out to be a little bit shorter than it normally is, which I really apologize about, but we did do lots of awesome evolutions. We found an awesome new rare Pokemon. I hope for you guys now can head over to Pokemon Find and find your own rare Pokemon as well, which is awesome. I've got loads of awesome Pokemon Go videos lined up for you guys, as always. I'm gonna jump back in the R8, head home, head to sleep, and then tomorrow we'll be straight back on the grind, playing Pokemon Go, trying to be the best trainer, and I'll see you guys then.